Greetings from Italian America, from San Pedro. Joseph's Joseph Bakery. Bakery. Thanks, Pat. I <laughs> appreciate it. With our trip to San Diego complete, and the first leg of our California adventure officially in the books, it was back on the road for a quick drive up the coast and a visit to the largest community of Italian Americans in all of Southern California, a special little town called San Pedro. A coastal community, San Pedro owes its existence to the growth of the area's fishing industry, and this beautiful Los Angeles neighborhood would become a magnet for immigrants from places as diverse as Croatia, Portugal, Ireland, Greece, Mexico, and of course, La Nostra Bella Italia. It may surprise you to learn that today, the LA metro area represents the nation's fifth largest Italian community, with an Italian-American population of over half a million, of which 25,000 or so are lucky enough to call this remarkable little seaport neighborhood home. Now you're probably expecting our explorations of Los Angeles to center around her bustling beaches and the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, and we absolutely did seek out the Italian side of Tinseltown. But we first turned our attention to a place that belongs on every Italian-American bucket list worth the ink. Just make sure to come with an empty stomach. All right, so San Diego was a blast, but we took a trip a little bit further north to the town of San Pedro, and so far, the only thing to do here is eat. So we're going to be Which eating. Which is not a bad thing. No, not a bad not thing not at all. Thing. No, we like it. It's a positive. We're here for it's a it. Positive. So we're going to be eating a lot of amazing things. And our first stop is Joseph's Bakery here since 1967. This is Victor Tuberosi running the place like a king. An emperor. An emperor. An emperor. An emperor. Yeah, that's a good one right there. <laughs> the emperor of San Pedro. <laughs> Multi-generation family business. You, your parents, and now your kids. Right, yes, all our family, yes, all of us together now. So what's your specialty here? Our specialty usually is our pizza or our croissants. People really enjoy the pizza here. It's old school, traditional, flat, round pizza. They always ask us to put, add more in toppings. We add pepperoni if you ask, but it's just a basic plain cheese pizza that we've sold here since my father opened the business. And really famous are our croissants. Um, the different assortments of croissants, the half moon, the longer ones, the vanilla, the chocolate. We also have one that's not here right now as a custard filling that people really enjoy as well. Joseph's Bakery is everything we could hope for in a multi-generation, family-owned Italian establishment. Delicious food and an atmosphere dripping in soul-grabbing timelessness. But perhaps our favorite treat is getting to hear about how the Italian-American spirit inspires a family like this one to continued success even when it requires the demanding hours that define the life of an Italian baker. Bakery life is hard life. Like, what time are you up in the morning? Midnight. You, you come you here wake at midnight. Up at midnight. Yeah. midnight, every night, yes. But yes. do you think there's anything in your Italian American upbringing that, that fuels you to keep this going? Absolutely, absolutely. It's, yes, uh, I watched my father come into this country in 1967. Well, I didn't watch, I heard the story. Came into this country with whatever he had in his pocket, his mother and his brother, and they opened this business. So this is his pride and joy. He took a chance back in 1967 when he had an opportunity to come to America to make a living. And that what really fuels me, watching him at his age and, and the pride he takes in this to keep this going for my family and my sons. Because I would, I would feel really heartbroken if I didn't keep something that he took his pride and joy to come to this country to build. One of the best things about traveling throughout Italian America is discovering the many diverse versions of the Italian American experience and we're always fascinated to learn about which particular communities in Italy sent their sons and daughters to the places we're exploring. The majority of the Italians of San Pedro trace their ancestral origins to two distinct parts of the old country. The first is the island of Sicily. Here it comes. It's my beautiful oregano that comes from Sicily. I think the smell of this oregano is very defined. It's in 2020, Rita Gentoli immigrated to San Pedro and opened the doors to La Siciliana Restaurant, a welcoming ode to her hometown of Scogliti, located in Sicily's Ragusa province. Rita is one of the many San Pedro residents whose Italian-American story began on this island at the heart of the Mediterranean. And her life's passion is to bring some of Sicily's distinct cuisine to her new Southern California home. 
including our personal favorite, her homemade arancini. Look how beautiful is this pesto. I want, when my customer come to my restaurant, I want them to experience, celebrate our culture as well. So they need to understand what was in my Sicily. There was not only the mafia, but it's the most beautiful island in the world, you know? While our time in San Pedro would introduce us to many gracious hosts like Rita, she represents the lone Sicilian we encountered. In fact, nearly every person we had the pleasure of spending some time with actually emigrated from another Italian island. From Ischia. Ischia. The event of Ischia. Yes, from Ischia. <laughs> Ischia sits less than 20 miles off the coast of Napoli, in the region of Campania. And while today it may be best known as a tourist hotspot, less than 100 years ago, this beautiful island was primarily driven by the agriculture and fishing industries, making Southern California the perfect destination for emigrating Ishkatadi families seeking new opportunities in the United States. Families like the owners of J. Tranis, whose patriarch Filippo arrived from Ishka in 1913. Just 12 years later, he opened the Majestic Cafe and started what would become a family culinary tradition passed from father to son for over 75 years. Today, J. Tranis rests in the capable hands of its founding family's fourth generation, those of chef and owner Dustin Trani, cooking up works of art, adequately befitting of his family legacy, and perfect for a modern-day clientele. I've eaten 17 meals today, but I'm gonna keep eating this because I can't stop. Mm. Just a few blocks away, you've got neighborhood landmark A1 Grocery, New York-style market and deli, opened in 1947 by the Matera family from Brooklyn, New York. A little over 40 years later, the torch passed on to Emidio Ungaro, formerly of Ischia, who immigrated to San Pedro with his family in 1960, when he was just two years old. Everything's made like it was at home with mom. That's, that's where I learned. And then they, my, you know, my, my previous bosses cooked that way too, you know, so everything's homemade. We don't cut any corners the way you would make a sauce or the way you would make lasagna or prepare something. It's all done the same way it would be done at home. Emidio started working at A1 as a teenager and went on to enjoy over 30 years as the owner of this beloved institution, proudly bringing this historic Italian market into the 21st century and beyond. To wrap up this part of our day, and because we can never pass up an opportunity for more pizza, we paid a visit to Bono's Pizzeria and got a little bit more than we bargained for. Wow! This appetite-quenching establishment was opened in 1967 by Nicole Agnello and Antonia Buono, shortly after they brought their family over from, you guessed it, Ischia. Over the decades, the family business has blossomed and expanded, and is now under the guidance of the Buono children, who are dutifully continuing their parents' mission of bringing the taste of the old country to the lucky residents of Southern California. How did our pizza compare to New York pizza? It's fantastic, Frank. Mille grazie. With over half a million Italians calling the greater Los Angeles area home, you might be surprised to learn that the LA area has never officially had its own Little Italy. That is, until very recently. In 2019, San Pedro was officially designated as the City of Angels' first ever Little Italy, a recognition that delighted the area's Italian residents and business owners. Little Italy deserves to be right here. The landscape is already here, the, the, the charm, the old Main Street, old San Pedro, all of the historic stuff is right here. This is the perfect place for Little Italy. If you see what's taking place here in our historic core, um, you're seeing the outdoor dining, the platforms, the Tivoli lights that are strung here. And an idea that I got when I was in Sicily in 2016, it's like, this is amazing. I'm having dinner with my family in Sicily, under the stars, under the lights, it was magical. It was magical. We brought that same concept here and we'll continue uh, to expand on uh, these opportunities. But we also, we need a piazza. Every little Italy needs a piazza, right? And um, I'll show you the future plans of our piazza here. With inclusivity as a top priority, this newly recognized Italian enclave looks to cement the strong sense of community and acknowledge an integral piece of LA's cultural history. It's a place where residents and visitors of all backgrounds can learn about and enjoy the fruits of Italian tradition 
especially the unique Italian-American culture that has blossomed in this beautiful slice of Southern California. Italians owned a ton of fishing boats coming from Ischia and Sicily, and they were the first you know, entrepreneurs, per se, that, that came here, they, one man, one boat, and they shared their successes with others. And that the unifying force here was our Catholic Church. The largest um, parish in the LA Archdiocese is Mary Star of the Sea Church. And when you walk into the church, you see the Madonna holding a fishing boat. And I get the chills wow. talking about it because the fishermen, they, they built the church. Uh, and it was a, it's a beautiful marble statue of the Madonna holding the fishing boat, blessing the fleet. I'm proud to call Joe a true friend to recommend that anyone who loves our Italian-American culture come see what real community leadership can create, America's newest Little Italy. When our friends in San Pedro helped us to draw up our itinerary of the must-see Italian-American destinations, we're convinced they saved the best for last. And after the day we've had, that is not an easy statement to make. San Pedro Fish Market was like nothing we've ever seen before. A place that could only be described as a fish-fueled wonderland. It is a fish wonderland, hit the nail on the head. In the loving hands of the fourth generation of family ownership, this amazing story began back in 1956, when Mackey Ungaro, along with his son Henry and nephew Tommy, started a family seafood business known as Vista Seafood. When we were a young kid, me and I called him my brother, really wasn't my brother, it's the other half of the family that owns a part of the fish market, the Angaro family. After school, we had to go to a little um, fish market about the size of uh, 10 by 10 or 10 by 15, really small little place. We just sold fish to go home and to sell no food. And that's a long time ago. That's 1956, maybe? You guys, none of you guys were even no, born yet. Yeah, yeah. Through years of hard work, determination, and good old-fashioned Italian grit, the fruits of their labor were realized on Good Friday in 1982, when they officially opened the San Pedro Fish Market and Restaurant, which today seats over 3,000 visitors and serves well over 30,000 shrimp trays per week. There's a bomb right here. It's now one of the top trafficked tourist attractions in all of California and is amongst the top 10 most Instagram restaurants in the United States. The top 10 places to go to in California, next to um, SeaWorld in San Diego, we're number two. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing, that? Number two in the amount of people coming through the building. Oh my gosh. You should yeah. be number one, because I'd rather eat the fish <laughs> than look at it. <laughs> you got it. So what was your favorite part of our visit to San Pedro? Did we leave anything out? Let us know in the comments. And join us next month as we seek out the Italian side of Hollywood USA. Where are we going to go eat now? We're, gonna... We're not eating for a while. No, eating, no I can't. I, I, can't. I can't even begin. No more eating. I'm done.